One interesting conclusion of the study on the national implementations of Article 17 of the DSM Directive concerns linguistic discrepancies, mistranslations that materially affect the meaning of the relevant provisions. A case in point concerns the protection which is offered to users by Article 17.2 of the DSM Directive. Now, this specifies that users' actions will be covered by authorizations to use the material that are granted to OCSSPs when they are not acting on a commercial basis or where their activity does not generate significant revenues. However, if we look at the Slovak implementation, this instead states that the protection for users does not apply to such actions which the user performs in the course of his professional business or if such actions generate significant income. Now, this wording renders the two conditions cumulative rather than alternative, and in this way, it sets a stricter standard. The same effect can be observed in the Czech Finnish and Dutch implementations. Now, of course, it isn't clear in these cases that the national legislators intended to achieve this effect. Uh, they may simply have rephrased in translation without realizing the resultant distortion. In another case, Finland replaces the description of what OCSSPs need to do in order to engage liability from giving the public access to protected content as in the directive, that is the wording that is used in the directive, to saving works to the service. This means that in Finland, even when users upload to the OCSSP in a private manner, the OCSSP will be liable for copyright infringement. The discrepancy continues throughout the Finnish implementation, and it re-emerges then in the transposition of the conditions for the special liability regime that are set out in Article 17.4. This creates problems with regard to the final part of subpoint C, where again the Finnish text requires OCSSPs to prevent future saving of the content to the service. Finally, much has been made already of the mistranslations in several member states of the term best efforts, which appears in the special liability regime of Article 17.4 of the DSM Directive. A number of countries, specifically Austria, Cyprus, Greece, Italy, Latvia and Spain, have replaced the term best efforts with terms that in fact set a stricter standard, such as Every effort, every possible effort, greatest efforts, biggest efforts. Sweden goes the other way by only requiring measures providers can reasonably be required to take. Now, this latter option, the Swedish approach, may be compatible with the directive in light of the proportionality element which is embedded into the special liability regime via Article 17.5 of the DSM Directive. But broadening the requirements and creating a stricter standard by replacing the term best efforts with something such as biggest efforts, greatest efforts, cannot be seen as being compatible with the directives.